Hello Wobblies, I'm Chris with Wobbly Otter Outdoors and this is a review and comparison of two fry pans from GSI Outdoors, the Pinnacle and the Bugaboo. The easiest way to tell the difference in these two pans is the pinnacle is made of hard anodized aluminum and the outside has a dark gray brush sort of matte finish and the outside of the bugaboo pan has a mirror finish. Yeah, I know. Okay, we've used both of these in campfires so the finish on the outside looks pretty much the same. I'm going to go scrub on the outside of the bugaboo and see if I can get some of that shiny surface to show up so you can see the difference. Be right back. When we were looking for a fry pan to take with us on our camping trips, we were fairly quick to decide that the GSI Outdoors pans were the way to go. When looking on Amazon, it wasn't that easy to tell the difference between the Bugaboo pan and the Pinnacle pan. I have to say I positively love the Bugaboo name. First glance, the easiest way to tell the two pans apart is that the Bugaboo pan has a shiny exterior, which I went in and I did scrub so you could see it has a more of a shiny appearance. While the Pinnacle pan, because of its hard anodized aluminum exterior, it has a very dark gray matte brushed matte sort of finish. When you have them side by side, it is much easier to tell the difference than when you're looking at them online. The Bugaboo pan has a slightly darker colored interior. The surface is a non-stick Teflon. The Bugaboo pan is made of aluminum. The Pinnacle pan is made of the hard anodized aluminum. On its interior surface, it has a Teflon Radiance Technology non-stick coating. And in the pinnacle pan, there are multiple layers of the finish so that it resists scratches and will last longer. The pinnacle pan is specifically designed to be used for camp wear. The weight of the two, as far as thickness of the material, is very similar, if not identical. The next difference is the handles. Both of them have foldable handles. The pinch in toward the hinge and they fold over inside. This is a much more subtle difference. When you have them side by side, try to have them side by side, the diameter of the metal used in the handles is slightly heavier in the pinnacle pan when compared to the bugaboo pan. So here you can tell the difference, I hope. This is the pinnacle and this is the bugaboo. Both of these specific pans are 10 inches in diameter, and that is the inside diameter of the pan. For the height of the pan, the exterior is between two and two and a quarter inches. Now let's check out their weights. This is the Pinnacle pan, and it weighs 18 ounces. This is the Bugaboo pan. and it weighs 18.2 ounces. Okay, let's have a look at the bottom of them. Both of ours have been used in campfires, so they both have a soot patina that you literally have to scrub, scrub, scrub to get off. So normally, this one is dark matte finish gray, and this one has more of a sheen. On the bottom of each of the pans are circular ridges. They're small and fairly close together. And this does a lot to help keep these pans from slipping off the top of especially a little stove. When you use any pan in a campfire, it's going to get some soot on it. I had some lightweight cotton canvas material that I'd gotten to make something out of and while that didn't get made, it worked perfectly to make a little pouch to slide in the fry pan. It's not beautiful but it's functional. Let's make an omelet. For making the omelet, we're using the pinnacle fry pan.
Having used both these pans, would I buy either one of them again? And the answer is easily yes, no problem. Love them, love them, love them. Between the two, which do we prefer? I'm going to say the Pinnacle Pan. The reason is it doesn't cost that much more, and it's the hard anodized aluminum, plus the multiple layers of Teflon inside. Even though GSI Outdoor says it is scratch resistant to metal spatulas and other metal utensils, we will always try to use nylon, plastic, silicone, wood to try to take care of it as best we can and have it last as long as it will. The first is Travels with Delaney. On their channel they do product reviews for camping. They do travel videos. They take you along on their travels and things that interest them and they're just really nice folks. And another one that's a lot of fun is the Real 111 T. His videos are about camp stoves and camping cookware. He says he is an equal opportunity pyro and he says that camp stove collecting is a high functioning form of pyromania. Thank you so much for watching. We appreciate your likes and shares. And if you enjoy what you see in our videos, we really hope you will subscribe. Thanks, and we'll see you again on the next video.